and a call. Amen. Amen. So this morning, um, I'm going to be sharing on a message that um, is in the book of Corinthians, and I've entitled it, All Things Are Permissible, But Not All Things Are Beneficial. Amen. 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 Let's open our Bibles to the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians Amen. and chapter 6. I'll read from verse 12. I'm using NIV. All right, it reads, I have the right, this was Apostle Paul speaking, I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will not be mastered by anything. Let's also read from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, just a few chapters from there, chapter 10, I'll read from verse 23 and 24, I'll use the TPT, it reads, you say, under grace, there are no rules, and we are free to do anything we please. Not exactly, because not everything promotes growth in others. Your slogan, we are allowed to do anything we choose, <clears throat> may be true, but not everything causes the spiritual advancement of others. So don't always seek what is best for you at the expense of another. Amen. 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 So Apostle Paul was telling the Corinthians that all things are permissible, right? Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. things are permissible. All things mm -hmm. are lawful. All things can be done. Basically, he was saying you can do anything. You can do whatever you want. But not all mm -hmm. things are going to be of benefit to you. Mm -hmm. This is what Apostle Paul was saying to mm -hmm. them. Not all things are going to be helpful. Not all yeah. things are going to edify. Not all things mm -hmm. are going to build that is mm -hmm. what his message was. So let's move on from the church of Corinth. We see that Paul was addressing um, the, the people at Corinth. You know, he wrote a lot of letters and he was speaking to them there. But now let's examine ourselves. Okay, so we are led by the word of God. We mm -hmm. look at the principles and that is our guide. Amen. So mm -hmm. now let's bring it home. Are we doing things that are going to profit us if we examine ourselves? Are we doing things that are beneficial to us? By this, I mean, is what we are doing going to build us up spiritually? Is what we are doing going to build our minds or our emotions? Okay. Will it in any way benefit us physically? Will it benefit us in any area of our lives? So these are a lot of questions, right? I'm asking a lot of questions, so much to answer about what we are doing. So mm. let's look at the uh, let's look at a few practical things, okay, so that we understand this and we have something to to take away from the session this morning. So a lot of people love to watch TV. <laughs> a lot of us mm. love to watch TV. There's mm. absolutely nothing wrong with watching TV. Mm. Please enjoy yourself. There's nothing wrong with watching TV, enjoy your TV. After all, you worked so hard to buy it. You know, you bought this nice curved TV and you nailed it on the wall so that you can have that, that cinema feel, right? So just enjoy it. There's nothing wrong with watching TV. That's one part, okay? So feel comfortable. Don't say, what is she talking about now? Should we stop watching TV? You <laughs> know, what I'm saying is that Please don't dislike me because I'm talking about a TV. Feel free. <laughs> you bought it, the curved TV, you bought the 40 inch and it's hanging on your wall. It's absolutely fine. Then we have the movie lovers, right? So mm. those that love going to the movies, you want to go out there, you know, there's always something new to look at. So uh, there are some people that are always just checking the news. What is coming out? What is, what is going to be there? Some people buy mm. tickets six months in advance, okay? It's just that currently with what has been happening, a lot of cinema halls are closed, but this is what happens in reality. Six mm. months before Black Panther is out, we bought the tickets and we are excited. I was almost buying a costume. Mm. My family was so excited to go and watch Black Panther. We got dressed up in this way and my husband was so excited, you know? He wanted to feel the buzz and he wanted us to feel that it was okay. okay? Mm -hmm. After all, I encourage a lot of um, couples to have a, a movie date, okay, as part of the yeah. marriage enrichment. There is nothing yeah. wrong with going to a movie, yeah. okay? So there's nothing wrong with all these things that we are doing. The issue is what we are feeding our spirits. 
hearts with? What are you mm-hmm. feeding your soul with? What are you feeding your mind with? That is where the mm-hmm. problem is. So if you do, if all you do rather is watch, uh, say, negative programs, okay? All mm-hmm. you do is just want to watch negative. Everything that you watch is so negative. What kind of a mind are you going to have after mm-hmm. that? Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. So then you become a negative person. You're not going to be positive about anything. Yeah. You know, because you are feeding your mind with negative news. So you mm-hmm. listen to the news the whole day. You move from channel A to channel B. Everything they're talking about is, is, um, is war. I remember before we moved to South Africa, we were in Zimbabwe. And it was almost like every day when you switched on the news, they were talking about South Africa. And everything was wrong about South Africa, according to what I saw on the news. So when my husband got a job to come, I refused. I said, ah, ah, that could be to there. You know what? We are better off here in Zimbabwe mm-hmm. than there. What I see on the news is just killings. Every day, somebody is robbed, somebody is killed. Mm-hmm. It, nothing was good because that is what I fed my mind with. They didn't show anything positive. Okay. So then that is what I'm talking about. And then um, take horror, for instance, right? Some people mm-hmm. become fearful after watching horror movies. Mm-hmm. They, you, mm-hmm. they were perfectly fine before they mm-hmm. watched that horror movie. But yeah. soon afterwards, they won't switch off the lights at night. They don't want to be home alone. They don't mm-hmm. want to sleep alone in their beds. Why? Mm-hmm. You know, it's because they fed themselves with fear. So yeah. fear came from that movie that they watched. If they had not mm. watched that movie, they were going to be very happy. So Amen. this is the issue. There's nothing wrong with watching a movie. There's nothing mm. wrong with doing whatever you want to do. Mm. All things are permissible after all, yeah. <laughs> right? But yeah. what are you feeding yourself with? Because mm. there's going to be something that is going to happen, that is going to change within yourself. Then there mm. are those others who choose to watch immoral material. They just, they just you know, these things we do, you know, purposefully. Mm. Mm -hmm. We want to do something and you arrange, you borrow videos and those videos that you rarely see in the shops, they are done in the background. So you watch immoral material. What are you expecting Mm -hmm. to get from there? What are you feeding yourself with? Mm -hmm. You know, what Mm -hmm. is the fruit of that material that you are watching? So Paul Mm -hmm. was saying, all things are permissible. You can Mm -hmm. do whatever you want. This Mm -hmm. is what he was telling these guys. Mm -hmm. But being entertained by things that are not right before the eyes of God is not going Mm -hmm. to be beneficial to you. It's not going to benefit you in any way. If something is wrong before the eyes of God, it's not going to be of benefit to you, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to constantly ask ourselves whether what we are doing will benefit Mm -hmm. us. It looks like Mm -hmm. a long exercise, but if you do it continuously, if you engage the Holy Spirit, it is not something that is going to be a problem. You mm-hmm. always know, like, you know, what, why am I doing this? Ask yourself yeah. those questions. Mm-hmm. You don't need to go to a conference for you to know whether mm-hmm. what you are doing is right or not, mm-hmm. or wrong, whether mm-hmm. it will build you or destroy you. Mm-hmm. You will just know and you will mm-hmm. know which direction to go. So mm-hmm. then ask yourself, will this build me spiritually? Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Will it build me spiritually? You know, spending mm-hmm. time with a friend or with friends It's fine. There's nothing wrong. You Mm -hmm. can have 10 friends that you visit every weekend. It doesn't matter. You can have one. You can go for coffee. You can go for for tea. You can go for latte. You can go Mm -hmm. for a drink, whatever drink that you choose. It is perfectly fine. But ask Mm -hmm. yourself whether it helps you to grow in any Mm -hmm. way. Does this Mm -hmm. help you to grow? Are you being Mm -hmm. built emotionally? Are you being built mentally? As yeah. you meet mm-hmm. up with these friends, you know, you mm-hmm. know that there are some mm-hmm. friends who you meet and there's nothing constructive coming out of those meetings. All you do mm-hmm. is gossip. All mm-hmm. you do is drink. Mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. you do is dance. Somebody is taller than me. When they dance, they're even shorter than me. You know, <laughs> that kind of thing. And then by the time you get home, you don't even know why you, you if you ask yourself, you sat there for six hours. What? Any business ventures, mm-hmm. nothing. You know, mm. did, what was of profit? You mm. know, why did that? Mm. And then you tell yourself, actually, I wasted my time. But yes, you mm. wasted your time. Six mm. hours from mm. 1 p.m. Mm. to 6 p.m. Mm. You did nothing constructive. Mm. So you ask mm. yourself, these people that I'm meeting every day mm. or that mm. I'm meeting. And you know, there's, there are these social clubs. You meet once a month. 
you know somebody mm. cooks or you bry or you do you prepare the food and all that you mm. ask yourself are we going there just to to make us feel good or are we going there to learn a skill what am i learning from here did i benefit mm. anything last month if not it's time to cut off some of these groups amen mm. amen Man. Amen and amen. Let's quickly mm. go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Mm. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I'll continue from verse 24. Mm. So don't always seek what is best for you at the expense of another. Yes, mm. you are free to eat anything without worrying about your conscience. For the earth and all its abundance belong to the Lord. That is Paul. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paul had mm -hmm. been speaking to them about food. And as you know, Apostle Paul wrote a number of letters to different churches, right? And mm -hmm. we know Paul as an advisor. He advised, he counseled. In certain cases, he actually said, listen, I'm not telling you this message is me. This is my mm -hmm. opinion. This is how mm -hmm. I look at the situation. This mm -hmm. is not God speaking. God didn't say mm -hmm. these things, but I'm telling mm -hmm. you these things because I know I have experienced this or I have observed yeah. that. So yeah. we do that sometimes. And that is what Paul was saying to them. You know, I observe other people live and I've seen the outcome. I have experienced mm -hmm. this. So I can tell you from my point of view, from mm -hmm. my experience. So mm -hmm. when I speak, mm -hmm. I will tell you whether it's me speaking or whether it's, these are the words of God that was Paul. So here he was advising them about food, mm -hmm. you know? He said, mm -hmm. you're free to eat anything. If you, if, you, if you read the rest of the chapter, you will see that there were issues of food sacrifice to idols, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but he told them, listen, don't worry. Even if people have told you this or that, it's mm -hmm. about the mind, it's about your conscience. How are you feeling yeah. about it? Nobody must come to you and tell you, don't eat pork. Hey, without mm -hmm. yembushi, well, without yembushi, don't eat pork or don't eat, <laughs> you know, goat meat. Don't eat this. You know, there are do's and don'ts when mm -hmm. it comes to food. Or mm -hmm. don't drink this. Or don't touch that. Or, you know, when you cook a chicken face, it should be turned upside down. Or when mm -hmm. you do this, all those things. He said, listen, guys, you can mm -hmm. eat anything you want, eat whatever yeah. you want. These yeah. things are permissible. But let's bring mm -hmm. the point home again. Let's learn something from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. are we free to eat anything right mm -hmm. now, today? Okay. Are we free to eat anything? Yes, we are free. Mm -hmm. We can eat whatever you want. You can eat mm -hmm. crocodile meat. You can eat a snake if you want. You can eat a frog, whatever. After all, God created all these things so that we will eat, right? Everything is mm -hmm. for us to eat. It's up to you. Well, I won't eat a snake because I know it's a snake and I don't like snakes. So that is, <laughs> that is my choice, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything are permissible, but I choose not to eat a snake. I choose not to eat a frog. So it is up to you. So you can eat anything. There's nothing wrong with eating, but if you overeat, there's a mm -hmm. problem, right? Mm -hmm. If you eat too much fatty food, if you eat too much takeaway, it's okay. Yeah. Don't, I'm not crucifying you again. You can go and eat takeaway. The problem is if you eat breakfast, you go to McDonald's for breakfast. Lunch, you stop over at KFC. Dinner, you're at Nando's. And then you crown it with an ice cream. What are we expecting? What are we expecting from there? So you can eat all these things. There's no problem. But how will that benefit your physical being? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about benefiting us in different ways. There's the mental, mm -hmm. there's the emotional, yeah. there's the spiritual, there's the financial part, mm -hmm. all these things. Now, when we talk mm -hmm. about eating, it's okay to eat. There's nothing wrong with eating. But yeah. when we eat, what is the benefit of the food? So anybody mm -hmm. who, has, um, who is diabetic or anybody who has high blood pressure or low blood pressure, anybody who has those conditions, you know, you know very well that this part you can't agree that all things are permissible. Uh, 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 you know, you can take everything. Yes, they are permissible. You can eat if you want, but are they going to be of benefit to you? Then you come back and say, no, no. Yes, even if it's permissible for me to eat ice cream, I can't take a whole jar, you know, watching TV with a whole big bucket of ice cream. You know that tomorrow your sugar levels are going to be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So if it is you with high blood pressure or low blood pressure and you eat all the wrong things, just know. Yeah. Yeah. So then you look at, yes, all things are permissible. You can do mm -hmm. it if you want. We are not yeah. saying you can't, but mm -hmm. then is it of benefit mm -hmm. to your yeah. physical being? So mm -hmm. that is what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Amen. Are we getting somewhere? Are we following? Amen. 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 
Amen. So you can eat whatever you feel like eating. Now, um, I would like to emphasize on this as we conclude, right? Mm -hmm. The point I'm making today is that all things are permissible. Mm -hmm. All things are permissible, but not all things are going to benefit you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like mm -hmm. Paul was saying, even though Paul was talking about that food, mm -hmm. but we can bring it, you know, in the context that it was said, Paul was talking mm -hmm. to those guys about food offered to, you know, sacrifice to idols. When you go to mm -hmm. the to the marketplace, uh, you can take anything. You can pick up anything. When, if a non-believer invites you to go to their house mm -hmm. and uh, eat, go and eat. Hello, mm -hmm. be merry. Go and eat. Mm -hmm. That is what he was saying to them. But yeah. I would like to say that you know, even for us, we look at the different areas that I've mentioned. It's the finances. It's the emotional uh, uh, well-being. It is the physical, right? It is the yeah. spiritual. So it mm -hmm. is the different areas. Whatever we are doing today, are they of benefit to us? Amen. Amen. So as we begin this week, this is a new week. Take time, you know, take mm -hmm. time to examine yourself. Sit mm -hmm. alone, get a pencil, get a paper, look over your life. Sometimes we are not mm -hmm. progressing, not because there's a witch who's putting you back. No, it, sometimes mm -hmm. it is because of what you are involved in. Sometimes mm -hmm. it is because of, you know, uh, the fruit of whatever you have engaged in. That is why you are not progressing. But when you sit, you'll be able to draw a roadmap for yourself. You'll be mm -hmm. able to see, okay, this is where I'm going wrong. I'm spending too much time in this group. This group is really not benefiting me. This time that I'm spending here, I can spend it doing a research towards a product mm -hmm. that I want to do. I'm mm -hmm. a business person. So now there you go. I'm talking about research. I'm into mm -hmm. farming. So instead of me spending time talking to people about mm -hmm. which is the new alcohol on the market, thank <laughs> God I don't take alcohol. Hey, could you walk over shiny this time? Oh, could you walk so could you a flying fishy? I even know them. Okay. So instead of you taking your time <laughs> talking about the new taste of alcohol, mm -hmm. rather join a group that is going mm -hmm. to talk about maybe farming. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, selling of products, maybe mm -hmm. marketing of products, maybe beauty yeah. website, that is yeah. going to build you. Now we're talking about mm -hmm. uh, being a career person, talking about an mm -hmm. income, we're talking about making money. Yeah. How are you going to do that? So this is what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. So stop wasting time with things that are not of benefit. Everything mm -hmm. is permissible, mm -hmm. right? So then are the things you are doing, this is the time that you're going to be alone, you know, yeah. just to examine yourself. Are the things that you are doing right now in your life building or destroying you? Yeah. So take a paper. What are you involved in? Okay. Mm -hmm. Every day from the first of the month, let's start every day and then build it up to, the, to yeah. a week. What are you doing during the week? Mm -hmm. What are you doing in a month? What mm -hmm. are you doing in a year? You, yeah. you would have seen how much time you have wasted in the past five years. Trust me. Yeah. And then... You know, in, in business, when we're building a business plan, we talk about projections, okay? So mm -hmm. if a company is just starting up, we talk about projecting for a year or three, up to three years, one year to three years. If a company is already existing, we talk about be doing projections, those are financial projections, you know, up to five years. So because this is a company that is expanding. So then... Mm -hmm. You as an individual, if this is your first exercise, you are going to look at, okay, in the past one year, look at the past year, what has happened in your life? Mm -hmm. Were you building yourself or just destroying yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then look at how best you can make a program for yourself between now and, and the next six mm -hmm. months. It's just between now and December, you're going to see how much progress. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I tell my family, I don't have, in my spare time, okay, they know I'm praying, eh? most of the time, but in my spare time, I can't, uh, I can't stand Netflix anymore, okay? Sometimes I want to scroll. We've got a lot of channels. There, there's so much that is on our TV, but mm -hmm. I can't do it anymore. I'm wasting time. I feel I would rather take it to reality. I'm mm -hmm. always looking, okay, because I'm in poetry, my children know, even my husband knows, they see me with headphones. I'm looking at chickens. I'm studying the behavior. Okay. So mm -hmm. if a behave, if a chicken makes this noise, I know it is doing that. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. looking at the wings. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the head. I'm looking at the eyes. I'm studying diseases. That's me. And mm -hmm. I've made so much progress. So when I go to the place where I'm keeping the chickens, I'll walk around and because of 
uh, the research that I've been doing, I'll look around and I'll just say, this chicken is not okay. And, mm -hmm. and the, the, the guy that helps me will say, no, but it's fine. I said, pick it up, let's examine it. He said, ah, no, but I didn't see why. It's because mm -hmm. I am building myself, okay? Yeah. This part of me is being built. So I'm mastering yeah. this, right? So this yeah. is what I'm challenging you to do. Don't yeah. waste time watching mm -hmm. Zdingo. Don't waste time watching Generations. You even have the marathon. Okay, there's a holiday coming up every day. You even know that we are going to watch the wild from there. I don't even know what is on, on TV anymore. Okay, so you sometimes you, it's okay to watch, but learn to know when to stop. It's yeah. time to build yourself up. Be a master in something. That is me and that is what I encourage to do. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yes. how is your thought pattern being influenced mm -hmm. with what you are currently doing? Mm -hmm. How is your thought pattern, you know, mm -hmm. being influenced? Is it negative? Mm -hmm. Is it positive? So if yeah. it is positive, then you will know. Think about all these things. Mm -hmm. Are you becoming lazy in the process? You know, there are some mm -hmm. groups when you join, they will tell you, I remember when we, we stayed uh, some years ago, we used to stay in Zimbabwe, like I mentioned. There was a group of women that I used to hang out with and I went to school because I love to improve myself. And they said, but Francine, why do you bother to go to school to learn? Why do you bother yourself to do all these things? You've got a car, <laughs> you've got the money, you've got everything else, you've got a big house. Why can't you just sit, relax, relax? But for, mm -hmm. it wasn't for me. I left that group. That's me. I leave quietly. Mm -hmm. I'm not even mm -hmm. going to say, guys, because you're doing ABC. No, no, no. I just separate myself because I know mm -hmm. you guys are mm -hmm. not good for me. You are mm -hmm. not making mm -hmm. any anything mm -hmm. positive in my life. You're not building mm -hmm. me in any way. Today, mm -hmm. I look at these people. They are still in the same place, if not worse. I have progressed. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I chose to mm -hmm. do that. So yes. those are the things. Are you becoming lazy? in mm -hmm. this situation mm -hmm. where so look at all those things or mm -hmm. are you feeling encouraged or motivated when mm -hmm. you are with a certain kind of people what are you talking mm -hmm. about when oh, you are with yes, francine yes. is your life getting better or is mm -hmm. it getting worse is she motivating yeah. you is she directing mm -hmm. you is she guiding mm -hmm. you you know so Amen. you mm -hmm. go to a prayer meeting that prayer meeting is it motivating is it encouraging mm -hmm. or is it one of those prayer mm -hmm. meetings when you come out you are mm -hmm. more aware of the devil than what mm -hmm. god can do mm -hmm. you are more aware of the power of the enemy how he's gonna punch you how he's going to run for your children how he's going to kill your marriage or are you going to come out and feel mm -hmm. you know what god is stronger you know yes. i need to come back feeling that greater is Amen. he who is in me Amen. than he who is in the world so Amen. examine yourself Amen. examine your groups examine everything that you're involved mm. in Amen. Amen. and then Amen. are you drawing closer or further from god these mm. are things you must with anything that you're involving yourself yeah. in today is this drawing you closer to God mm. or is it drawing mm. you further from God? Mm. So you can be meeting with a group of friends. It mm. is fine, okay? Mm. But do these friends draw you close to God or do they draw you closer from God? I think I shared mm. a while ago where I really wanted to pray. I always want to pray. But um, I'm also realistic. I'm not going to say, okay, today we are going to, to be at cappuccinos. And then I start saying, come on, guys, let's start praying. No, no, I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to eat. But if we're going to meet and we agree that we're going to pray, no, I'm coming to pray. But then somebody tells me, no, but that is trivial. Oh, prayer is trivial. I quickly separated myself because I, just, I, I realized these guys are going to kill my prayer life. So let me rather do it in this way. Let me rather engage with people that want to pray like me. So Amen. That is, these are choices that we make. Amen. 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 And lastly, don't just think about yourself. The mm. scripture that I read right at the end, it talks about not just being mindful about yourself, but mm. be mindful about people around yeah. you. Perhaps yeah. in your mm. own home, let's bring it mm. home. Mm. In your own mm. home, what are the mm. things that you are doing? If you feel mm. watching a horror movie is fine with you, that's good, okay? Mm. To you, it is permissible. It is permissible in your household, right? But what about the children? What about those siblings that you are staying with? Yeah. Is yeah. that going to be of benefit to them? What about your mm. spouse? Mm. All you do mm. is Elm Street. What do you mm. call that movie? Nightmare on Elm Street. Everything that you can't watch anything normal. But how mm. are the children responding to that? How is that kind of movie mm. being of benefit to people around you? Mm. Try to, if you're watching as a family or your children are moving around, watch something that is mm. going to engage everybody, something yeah, that everyone can benefit from. A mm. game, or even if it's a movie, something that is going to speak to all of you. What can we learn from this or what can we learn from that? Take Amen. alcohol, for instance. 
taking alcohol for you might be mm-hmm. fine. Everything is permissible, right? Mm-hmm. So take alcohol for that. You may say, I'm not even a slave. Paul was saying, I'm not going mm-hmm. to let anything master me. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then, if you're not a slave to alcohol, it is fine. But what about the people in your environment? Yeah. What about the children mm-hmm. that you are bringing up? Mm-hmm. How will it? How will that benefit them? How? What are they going to learn from that? To yeah, you, right. you know you don't take. You you you're not mm-hmm. going to to get drunk. Okay. Yeah. You know you're not going to get out of control. But yes. what about that child mm-hmm. who is watching you? Mm-hmm. Even if it's in the mm-hmm. office. Okay. They know you mm-hmm. as. You know they look up to you. Okay. You yeah. are their mentor. But when mm. you go to an outing, you are the first one taking mm. so much and, you know, encouraging them to take shooters and to do mm. all sorts of things. Mm. Is that going to benefit them in any way as a leader? So mm. as you lead, be mindful of people around you. Amen. 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 So yes, you are free to do anything you please, right? Mm. But not everything promotes growth in others. Mm. So that mm. thing which is fine for you may be a stumbling block for somebody. Yeah. So it's not going to help them to grow because why? They are looking at you and thinking, but I saw you drinking yesterday. So it means I can also mm. drink, right? I mm. saw you doing that yesterday. So it means I saw you taking out some money from the cash box in the cash box in the office yesterday. So it means I can also now the intern will also start knocking mm. off with money because yeah. you, the accountant, knock off with money. Yeah. So Is that going to benefit somebody? Is that going to promote growth in others? Mm. So Mm. you are allowed to do anything you choose. It's a free world. Everything is permissible. That is what Paul tells us. But not everything causes the spiritual advancement of others. Mm. Amen. That is why for me, even if we say, okay, do as I say, not what I do. It is not right for a leader. If you are Mm. a leader, you can't Mm. afford to say those things. If you are a parent, you can't afford to say, do Mm. as I say, you know, not Mm. what I do. Because somebody is learning from a distance. They're looking at you and they are reading your character. Mm. They're looking at you and, you know, they want to be like you. So they'll Mm. definitely just follow in the food. So all Mm. those things that you are doing, how are they Mm. benefiting those around you? So firstly, like we said, it is how they are benefiting you, Mm. okay? Mm. And now how they are benefiting those people around Mm. you. Amen Mm. and amen. Amen. Amen Amen and amen. So let us bear in mind that all things are permissible, Mm. but not all things are of benefit Mm. to us. Mm. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Let us thank the Lord for... A revelation this morning. Let us thank him for the message today. And let mm. us pray that as we begin this week, you know, he will open up our eyes, he will open up our, our ears so that we'll be able to see. He must give us Amen. that discernment to know right from wrong. Amen. Mm. Amen. Amen. When we mm. teach, you know, um, 